U.S. regulators are poised to greenlight COVID-19 vaccine shots for the youngest age group yet, from those five years old to those as young as six months old. Yet Florida is the only state in the nation that has not placed an order with the federal government for doses of the COVID-19 vaccine for those young kids. It called the distribution process convoluted, but didn't define what convoluted means to them. In a statement, the Department of Health said states don't need to be involved in the convoluted vaccine distribution process, especially when the federal government has a track record of developing inconsistent and unsustainable COVID-19 policies. It's also no surprise we chose not to participate in distribution of the COVID-19 vaccine when the department does not recommend it for all children. And it is no secret Florida Surgeon General Joseph Latipo is opposed to COVID-19 vaccinations for children under the age of five. Joining me on the morning show, Dr. Jeffrey Goldhagen, a professor at the University of Florida College of Medicine and chief of the university's pediatrics division here in Jacksonville. Good morning. Good morning and thank you. It's expected this vaccine will be approved maybe this weekend or early this, this week for kids under age five. What does it say to you that Florida is the only one, the only one of 49 states not to pre-order this vaccine? Well, what it tells me is that uh, Governor DeSantis and uh, Dr. Ladipo continue to play a deadly game with, uh, with the health and well-being of people in Florida, and now in particular, young children. Millions of children this age were infected by Omicron, have been infected by Omicron. Thousands and thousands have been hospitalized. Hundreds have died. This is a safe vaccine. Every credible organization in the country, medical organization in the country is supporting it. The data is very clear. There were virtually no significant side effects. This is a safe vaccine that will save the lives of children in Florida as it will save the lives of children throughout the country. It is a, a significant issue that this state will play uh, a political game with the lives of children who are, being, who are being used as political pawns by the governor and Surgeon General. Do you find it ironic the DeSantis administration is all about personal choice? I mean, that's why the governor did away with mask mandates and threatened hefty fines. Yet now the state is not ordering vaccines for children, denying parents the chance to make their choice, their own choice about vaccinating their young children. And yesterday he said, quote, it's not something that we meaning the administration think is appropriate. Seems to be a bit contradictory to me. In fact, it seems as if the state government is trying to tell parents what to do. Well, it's not contradictory or ironic when you consider the fact that this is a political decision made by, uh, made by the governor and it flies in the face of every bit of evidence. And our, our Surgeon General has a long history of of disinformation, misinformation. Uh, he was one or is one of America's frontline doctors whose credibility is zero as they pushed, uh, as they pushed medications for uh, COVID that were known not to work. This is a political decision. Parents need to be urged to get the vaccine Fortunately, the retail uh, retail drug stores, uh, Walmart and Walgreens and CVS and others will have the vaccine. They should talk to their doctors to identify when their doctors will be getting the vaccine. There will, however, be a significant delay to provide access to our children in Florida who will suffer uh, because of these uh, political decisions. Okay, let's talk about Dr. Ladipo. He said, from what I have seen, there is just insufficient data to inform benefits and risk in children. I think that's very unequivocal. Parents are going to hear that. You're a well-respected pediatrician in this community. What do you tell them in response to Latipo's comments? I would say Dr. Latipo is not a pediatrician. He's not a public health expert. He's demonstrated his commitment to political policies that fly in the face of evidence-based medicine and science. Do not listen to Dr. Latipo. He too is a political pawn of the governor and is pushing information that has killed thousands and thousands, actually tens of thousands of people in Florida unnecessarily, and now is playing a political game with the lives of our children. It's shocking, it's frustrating, and parents should not listen to Dr. Latipo. Listen to the American Academy of Pediatrics. Go on the website for the Academy of Pediatrics, aap.org, read for yourself. Do not listen to this physician who is playing a political game 
with the lives of your children. Please get your children vaccinated. We are also learning more about long COVID and it's critically important that parents understand that even asymptomatic children can have long-term effects. So this is an issue that's going to persist for, for perhaps for decades. We need to act now, get your children vaccinated. Do not listen to the governor. Do not listen to the Dr. Latipo who are playing deadly games with your children. Dr. Jeffrey Goldhagen, thank you.